solving complicated problems with the folks from the Mendota Ranch and Rotor Recoil. We're using the P4 RTK, we're using the Agrass T10, and we're using DJI Terra. You don't want to miss this. Don't go anywhere. Hey everybody, David here from Aerial Influence. Thank you so much for stopping by. We had a really, really eventful past week. Uh, we were invited down to Canadian, Texas. Had never heard of it, but little beautiful little town. And we were invited down to the Mendota Ranch by Jason Abraham and Nate Fredley. They're the guys from Rotor Recoil. If you haven't checked out their YouTube channel, you gotta go check it out. They are doing some really fun, interesting stuff. And mostly it's all thanks to Jason Abraham. This guy, he might be the most interesting man in the world. I know that's reserved for the Dos Equis guy. Stay thirsty, my friend. But seriously, Jason Abraham, he's got to be a close second. Uh, let me just go through a list of some of the things this guy does. He manages an 11,000-acre ranch. He knows how to clone animals, and he's done it. He trains some of the elite special forces guys from around the world there on his property. He is an expert helicopter pilot. He works out for two hours a day. And then he goes for a run, and he's developed a proprietary way to kill invasive weed trees. So that's a long list of really cool stuff, but that last one, killing the invasive weeds, that's why they called us. So here's the backstory. The Mendota Ranch was being overtaken by these weed trees, and these weed trees, they suck up all the water and all the nutrients from the other plants in the area. So if you're growing crops and you've got these invasive weed trees, uh, your crops are not going to grow the right way because these weed trees are sucking up all the nutrients that are supposed to go to your crops. So Jason, realizing this is a huge problem, he went to work. He figured out the ingredients for some pesticide that he can put into this little ball. It's about the size of like a marble, really, really small, or a gumball maybe. Really small, but this little pellet, when it hits the ground, if it is within six feet of this weed tree, it's gonna kill the weed tree. What's in the little pellet? Well, he wouldn't tell us and we can't tell you. That's the proprietary side of it. He's developed it, it's non-toxic, and it's something that works on these trees. So originally, they were using these little pellets and putting them in paintball guns. So they would literally get up in Jason's helicopter, fly around, they'd find a weed tree, and then they would shoot it with a paintball gun. They would put the little pellet in a paintball gun and shoot it. You can imagine that took a really, really long time and it's expensive. You're in a helicopter for goodness sake. So they were looking for a better way to dispense these pellets and that's why they called us. One of the drones we sell is the DJI Agress T10. Now this is a spraying drone. It is also a spreading drone. So that was of interest to the folks at the Mendota Ranch. They thought maybe we could get these little pellets into the T10 and that would be a good way to spread them. Now, you don't wanna be spreading this stuff all over the place in a way that you would do like a pesticide or an insecticide. You really wanna target the tree. So you wanna put like one pellet on a tree, unless it's bigger, if it's bigger, they can go up to two to three pellets. But the point is you're not just going out there and spreading this stuff everywhere throughout a field. You're literally focusing on those specific trees. So we packed up the truck and headed to Canadian, Texas we're talking 14 hours both ways, exhausting, but we were happy to do it. The first thing we did was we mapped the area using the Phantom 4 RTK. Now, if you don't know what the Phantom 4 RTK is, it's just like a DJI Phantom, like a Phantom 4, essentially, like one that you can buy at Best Buy, but it's got RTK. I can show you right here. This is, this is the little guy right back here, but you see this little top hat? There's a little top hat on it. I don't know if it'll focus on it. There we go. Uh, it's got a little top hat that is for RTK. So RTK that stands for real time kinematics. And basically what that means is you're getting GPS on steroids. Uh, RTK, this is what self-driving tractors use. It is very, very precise up to the centimeter. So you could take accurate measurements from the maps that you make using the Phantom 4 RTK. Really, really a great drone. But using this drone in DJI Terra, we were able to identify most of the trees. That's right. So the drone itself, can identify many of these trees. You do need to go in and just make sure there are, it is gonna miss some of the trees. So we had to go in and highlight the area where the missed trees were uh, just to make sure that we had it all set up. Then we created a flight path for the drone. So it would go to each of those areas, drop a pellet, and then move on to the next area and drop a pellet. Then to the next, drop a pellet. Then to the next, drop a pellet. This is not something pre-programmed into the drone that it's supposed to do. This is something we worked really hard at making work. Michael Ferguson, my business partner, he is one of the foremost experts in the country on these spraying drones, I guarantee it. He worked on it for several weeks, but he finally got it to work. Then the folks at the Mendota Ranch, they sort of modified the hopper just a little bit to make sure that was gonna work. And you know what? 
it was successful. This is something that could be a huge game changer, but the Mendota Ranch is a great place to try it out. 11,000 acres, 11,000 acres. There are lots of weed trees on this, on this property to do a lot of testing, but we think we got it right. Uh, probably a few things to work out, but really, really, a very cool experience to be able to go down to the Mendota Ranch, be able to hang out with the guys. But I want to thank them for having us down. That really was a great adventure for Michael and I. I wish it was a shorter drive, but we had a great time. We learned so much, and I think they learned some from us as well. So thank you guys again. Make sure you check out the Mendota Ranch uh, channel. They've got YouTube, they've got Facebook, they've got Instagram. So check those guys out. Very, very cool stuff. And if you're not a subscriber of our channel, you know, it'd be cool if you just uh, subscribe to us too. You can just hit the little button there. All right, thank you so much for stopping by, and we will see you next time.